is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who's found himself targeted, gang-stalked, poisoned, electrocuted, covertly drugged with LSD for years. Everything in my life has been destroyed, blacklisted, refused medical help and attention, on and on, forced relocation, you name it. And, uh, this is my life. Uh, yesterday, as I was walking my daily hour walk to and from the doctor to get the medication they won't let me take home, there was a woman an elderly woman hobbling along with a cane and a slight grimace from the pain. And I said to her, God bless you, sister. And as I walked by, I went over the list in my head and began to pray for uh, all of those people that are hurt all those people that are sick, all the people that are broken, imprisoned, enslaved, poor, homeless, in institutions, uh, in, in war, in, in, you know, in abusive relationships, in, in hell itself. And I start going through this list and praying for these people and, and I realize that this list is unending. There's so many people suffering on this planet and I don't understand why. I really don't understand why. Uh, yes, all of this noise you're hearing in the background of the roads being repaved and buildings being rebuilt are the sounds of gentrification uh, as the bankers and the politicians who burned Bushwick to the ground in the 70s and left it that way are now back to reclaim their profits by moving the upper class I don't know who they are uh, certainly not regular working class. Anyway, into the neighborhood. But that's another story. You know, when I look at all the pain and suffering in this world, you know, including my own, I, 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 I'm really at a loss. I, I don't know what to do, you know. And... Uh, when I try to understand God and, and the spirit and the soul and why am I here and why does God want me to suffer this way? Because perhaps I'm wrong, but my belief is that God made this place, He made me this world we think is so real is some kind of higher dimensional construct built by the Lord and we're here for some purpose and I, I just I can't you know I can't comprehend it it's, which is understandable however I don't know about the rest of you, but I really need something to understand, to believe in, to, to hold on to, to, to know. And, you know, and I read these stories about people who claim to have died and gone to hell. I was reading one the other day. And 
the woman says, oh, she was in a car accident and everything went black and she's in this tunnel and this being is grabbing her, dragging her down this pathway to this horrible place and, and she's crying, she doesn't understand and she's crying and, and praying and finally Christ comes and says, stop! And the whole place shakes and the thing stops and lets her go and Christ comes and takes her by the hand and says, let me show you you know what's going on here and he shows her all the souls of all the damned and explains all the reasons why they're there and, and, and the suffering you know and some of these reasons seem pretty petty to me uh, but then I'm not God so I don't know what's going on in these things and she says that you know quoting scripture to man is appointed to die once and after this the judgment and you know that you can't get mercy after you're dead and yet here she is on her way to hell and Christ comes and gives her mercy so what's going on with that you know I I, I, I am terrified of this I, I pray every day Please forgive me for my stupidity and foolishness and pride and arrogance and and will and and, and you know everything and uh, sometimes it feels like just being alive is wrong. And, uh, you know, I, I realized that everything that we know about God and is given to us by men or women. So it's all just an interpretation. And, you know, all this stuff about God is unknowable and un unseeable and doesn't show himself. And, you know, why? Why not? You know, and I understand all this stuff about faith and that you have to have faith and, you know, faith, faith, yes, faith, belief and, but it's so hard to understand. You know, I've been through so much crap and horrible things and none of it is, even a tiny bit as horrible as these stories I hear about this horrible place and I don't understand how a loving God could make such a place for us and I could not send anyone there even though there's this little voice jumping around inside my head so I'm going going damn them all to hell damn them all to hell and I'm like shut up who are you you're not me you know get out of here this battle with this... I don't know what it is. You know, people, machines, demonic, whatever. Um, I'm just at a loss. Anyway, thanks for listening. God bless you all.